why you're here. May I have your name? What's your name? Very beautiful. Can you tell me why you felt the need to come out here today and speak for these chickens? Because you don't like animal abuse? What does it make you feel like to know that these babies' lives... You don't want to? You don't want to? I totally understand. You want my... Okay. So I'll help you. So why, why did we come here? You want to tell the rabbis? What do we want to tell them? Do not kill animals. Why is it not okay to hurt the animals? Is it because they have families like you? And you understand that, that love and compassion have to be maintained, and that's probably too big of a word, my bad. I, I think maybe you want to be a good Jewish boy, right? And that means to take care of the animals. To give them love and compassion, very good. That's what we learn in preschool. Right? Yep. Thank you so much. I, what's your name? Tali. Tali, I'm McKenna. Thank you so much for coming and bringing them. You know, people have said that the children, you know, I've had people comment and say that kids should not be a part of these protests. And Stephanie can attest, she brings her son. You know, what better time to teach children compassion? Children are teaching me, actually. That's what, you know, and I hear that all the time, too. That is amazing. And, you know, they're the ones that are going to, that are going to set the tone for the future. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's going to raise his kids compassionately. This is amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time today. <laughs> Show her your sign. Let me see your sign. That is gorgeous. You have two signs. You have that sign. And you have that sign. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. How do you say his name again? Ariel's. Very good. Thank you so much. Look at all the people that have shown up to protest this barbarity. Hi, Jesse. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you doing? I'm just, I'm just freaked out a little bit. Yeah, I already, I was back there and I got a video with Steph and me and we were taking pictures and then I was deleting old pictures so I'd have room and I ended up deleting it by accident so anyway I, you know it is what it is we've got a lot of people here there'll be a Welcome lot of footage. Welcome everybody. Let me get away from the sun. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. Uh, my name is Rabbi Jonathan Klein and uh, we're very excited to once and for all create a presence of conscience for what is happening in this neighborhood Within the Jewish community, we have some divisions, and we want to really focus on the fact that this is not a universally beloved institution at all, the process of kaparot. And moreover, there's a lot of ways that one can practice kaparot, and we are going to engage in our own uh, way of doing it using money, which is completely sanctioned by halakha, by Jewish law, and prevents us from committing acts of cruelty to animals. And we all know that that's essential for us to have um, a, a, a peaceful and compassionate society. I come here with the fact that my neighbors are the people who are selling these chickens to young Israel of Beverly Hills and exploiting these animals. And so I'm aghast at what's been happening, and I know you are too. We can see how horribly cruel it is by just looking at the cages that are in that alleyway. But we're not going to just sit back and watch that. We're going to actually make a statement about how important it is to stand up for what's right and what's just. So we're so glad you can be here. We are going to have a program that starts with us performing kaparot, this ritual of, uh, of, of expiation of sins by using money instead of using the, uh, the, um, the chickens that have no desire to be uh, slaughtered or tormented by us. Day. I'm very excited that I'm joined by two of my uh, my friends and colleagues in the rabbinical community, Rabbi Ziona Bokstein and Rabbi Eliyahu Ufink. Uh, Eliyahu Ufink is a rabbi down in the Venice Beach area, and Rabbi Bokstein and I were colleagues in uh, the Hillel world for a while, and is now running um, some amazing programming, I guess down in Long Beach or, uh, oh, you're back, you're up in L.A. now. Okay, so what I'd like us to do
do is uh, I'd like each of the rabbis to perhaps uh, provide a word on why they are joining us in this effort to point out that this is really a shanda. It is a, an embarrassment for the Jewish people for there to be this kind of uh, um, ritual that, that is so cruel and so unnecessary at the same time. So uh, I'd like to invite uh, Rabbi Fink perhaps to start us off. Say a word about uh, about how you have. Uh